election news, the fight for 42nd District is still too close to call. Incumbent Ed Rooney is facing mm. an uphill battle. Towards the I love hearing your name on TV. Makes you sound so powerful. <laughs> makes me want you. I know. Makes me want me too. While challenger Ed Froman has, according to an aide, checked into an undisclosed medical facility with a leg cancer scare. That Froman is unbelievable. Pretending to get cancer in order to get a few sympathy votes. How pathetic is that? Well, maybe he really has cancer. Oh, please. Leg cancer? That is so fake. That's how bad this guy is. He can't even make up a good cancer. This campaign's gotten so dirty. All politics has, you know. It's all about the sleaze. Otisburg is all full up of sleaze bags now. And do you know what? Makes me sick. No, 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 I can't, I can't. If I don't leave now, I won't get home before the wife wakes up. Our latest poll is in, and with one day left to go, are you ready for this? It's a tie. Shit. Oh, what's the margin of error? Zero. Zero? It's a very small district. We called every registered voter. Hell's bells. You know, I had the lead three days ago. You did, but then Cameron Fry shot his wife. That hurt you. They were both Democrats. But here's the thing. There's one undecided, a Katie Bueller. She's up near Raleigh. Raleigh? He that guy that says his cows turned inside out. Raleigh is a town in our district. Right. I can't lose this thing. I can't go back to being a teacher. Those goddamn kids asking me stupid questions, asking me, how's this work? And can you teach me this? And, and why does your coffee smell like daddy's Christmas party? I can't do it. I have to win. Okay, then. Let's go. I just want to thank you for taking the time to talk to us, Miss Bueller. Kate, so what's going on here? Do you mean to tell me that you need my vote so bad that you had to come up here and beg me for it? Uh, we're not begging. I'd just like to keep in touch with the community. <laughs> You're begging. We're not begging. Would you like us to beg? Ed. What I mean to say is, what can I do to convince you to vote for me? Tomorrow, send me off to Otisburg to represent you. What can I do to ensure your vote tomorrow? Well, you like to do things for your community, right? Well, I think you should do something for my little immediate community right here and clean up my apartment. Clean, clean your apartment? Yep. We are not cleaning your apartment. Now, hold on a second here. You want to go back to being a waitress at their beer garden? Wearing that outrageous uniform? Getting no tips, having guys pinch your ass, say, hey there, four line hottie. You were the only one that did that. Oh, all right, all right. Let's just do this and get out of here, all right? Well, there you go. Just remember, Edward Rooney, your representative for 42nd District. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm totally won over yet. Got to be kidding. Well, it's just that this other guy, he has that leg cancer. I was thinking of voting for him out of sympathy. Holy mother of pearl. All right, what can we do for you? We took your cat to the vet. We made you a tomato sandwich with cheese. I sang you not one, but two songs from uh, Mama Mia. Mama Mia. And I alphabetize your CDs. Now, can I count on your vote tomorrow? I am so close to moving from the uh, undecided column to the Rooney column, but I'm just not quite there yet. Let's kill her. I'll even do it. No one will ever know. Listen, there's one more thing. And if you do this, then I'll know that you care about me and my community, and I will vote for you. What is it? What? Show me your boob. Oh my God! 
That will never happen. Look, this is insane. I am leaving. Sloane, Sloane, it'll just be for a moment. Not her, you. But you are not really going to do this. Ed, don't. <laughs> Unbelievable. That has got to be the saddest, most humiliating thing I have ever seen in my life. You know, I have to tell you that you are the most committed son of a bitch I've ever met. If I were registered, I'd vote for you. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you got my vote. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much for your support. I... Sloan, when you were counting my supporters, did you count me? Of course. What with the campaign and all, you know, I never got around to actually... Are you serious? You didn't register to vote for your own election? All right, but with her vote, it's still a tie. It's still a tie. No, it's not. Well, was it worth it? I forgot to register, and I showed this crazy woman my boob. Slow wait! I'm still powerful and stuff. Hello? This is Katie Bueller. Hi, Congressman Froman. Yes, I know who you are. How's the leg cancer? Oh, that's good news. Sure, I'd love to talk to you. Come on over whenever you'd like. I'd be here all night. Thank you.